I'm so excited that we are growing and growing on numbers every day. So welcome everyone who just arrived and also, of course, welcome to everyone. It's great to see how more and more people are just joining in and really um, allowing ourselves that preciousness to get to know ourselves as open intelligence, get to know ourselves as our potency as a human being. And that's what we are introduced here in Balanced View. We really get to know ourselves, our power, our power to be of benefit, our potency, and how we can use our mind, speech, body, qualities, and activities for the benefit of all. So we are, in, in, in Balanced View, we, we are introduced to that in a very simple way. We have a simple instruction set of the four mainstays. And the Four Mainstays instruction set gives us everything that we need to empower ourselves in each moment of our life, to really use all our strengths, gifts and talents, all our potency to be of benefit to ourselves and others. So the Four Mainstays is first the simple practice of short moments, repeated many times whenever we naturally remember to do so. We take a short moment. A short moment means that we can just relax body and mind completely. Resting all description that is going on. For a split second we stop thinking for a moment. That's how we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence. We stop thinking for a moment and recognize what remains. Something about us is always alert, cognizant. Something remains always there, always present. Open intelligence, shining through at all times, no matter if we are thinking or not thinking. All data, all thoughts, emotions, sensations are fueled by open intelligence, open intelligence at the basis. And that's what we recognize when we take a short moment. We rest completely, body and mind, and recognize that that is always present, that that is alert, that that knows everything, that, that hears, that senses, in that we rest for a short moment and we repeat it whenever we naturally remember to do so during our day. And if we are new, we can just test it out today for one day. We're testing out to let all descriptions be as it is. When a thought comes up or an emotion comes up, we stop right there, letting it be as it is not needing to change it, not needing to arrange, rearrange it, not needing to have better thoughts or emotions, just allowing whatever is there to be as it is. Nothing needs to be done with all our thoughts, emotions, sensations. That is really incredible. I thought always I need to rearrange everything in order to feel <coughs> happy, in order to feel um, well and comfortable within myself. I thought I need to arrange all my data. I thought I needed positive data get rid of the negative data. And that I was constantly trying to rearrange everything about my life to just have positive experiences, basically. And now I was introduced to open intelligence that allowed me to let everything be as it is and find that my well-being is inseparable from all data. No matter if I feel happy, sad, irritated, angry, hate, hate, and no matter what I feel, Open intelligence is shining forth. I don't need to do anything with those data. It's incredible. They are like a line drawn in water, leaving no trace. That's what our data are. Data just come up unpredictably. We never know what day, next data will come up for us. And then they are there for a while, and then they just self-release. We don't need to do anything with those data for them to come, for them to be there, and for them to self-release. The only responsibility we can take there is how do we want to deal with our data? What do we want to do when a data arises of anger, for example? Do we want to emphasize it, indulge the story around it, why we are angry because this person did that and that? Or do we want to avoid it? We avoid that person that seemingly makes us angry? Or we replace it with, oh, He's a good human being, or I'm a good, I not, shouldn't have um, negative thoughts, I'm not angry, I'm positive. You know, it's all arranging, so much effort in that, and how long can we hold that up? It never really works. It pops up and then in another spot. It's like this, you know, these, what, these uh, things that you, how do you call them in English, these little figures that you 
come down and then they pop up again, you know, like always. We cannot hold them down forever. And that's how our data, they just pop up again and again. So no need to try to damp them down and hold on. So much effort, we can just feel how much energy goes into that. So what we do is allowing them to be as they are, letting anger be as it is. Nothing needs to be done. We see that it's just that dynamic energy of open intelligence shining forth. And so we test it out, what happens when we let data be as it is? What really happens? Suddenly it opens up and we see skillfully how we can be in each circumstance. We suddenly see that we have so many more options to relate to people when we feel angry. You know, all that data that comes up, we allow it to be as it is and using it for the benefit of all. Suddenly we can see that we can be of benefit despite what data comes up. We can see how we can relate in each moment. And that's the power of taking short moments, relying on the four mainstays. And I just will go into the, all the other mainstays because the short moments is just the first mainstay that will support us completely, no matter where we are, in, 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 no matter what we're doing, we can take short moments. No matter what we're involved in, we just take short moments where, whenever we remember to do so. And then we have um, all the trainings that are offered, all the open meetings that we here share, or on the website we have so many downloads. We can listen to talks, participate in trainings face-to-face, -face, but also online. It's an incredible offering, these, um, these trainings, because the trainings really elicit more and more open intelligence within ourselves in a very natural way. Just being in, immersed in the training settings support us to apply all these instructions that we are given in our daily life. And that's what we basically want. We really want to test it out in our daily life. We want something that is applicable to every circumstance of our life. And that's what we are provided with. That's what we are um, getting the tools in the training settings to really do that in, at all times. So being supported in that again and again applying the short moments in everyday life, getting that support. And then we have another mainstay, the trainer, that only supports us in that recognition again and again. When we feel stuck on our data stream, to share it with someone that, that can just be completely open in that and support us in recognizing open intelligence. And then we have the community as the fourth mainstay all us together, really making that choice to recognize open intelligence again and again. Seeing it in other people, that was for me so, so powerful, just to see other people rely on open intelligence, seeing that there's another way to live life, where we can really empower each other, where we can really see that we can live a life of benefit in, in all, all times. People that are not acting on their data, that was mind-blowing for me people that could allow their data to be as it is and be skillful in relating, always having the benefit of all in, in their vision and going for that, not being blindsided by data. Oh, it's such a relief, such a relief for everyone, for myself and everyone I relate with. All my relationships have so much um, benefited from that because I didn't need to hold on on my data of anger, of pride, of jealousy, or whatever comes up. I mean, everything comes up in relating with people. We all know that. But we don't want to get sucked down of, of our data. We want to be beneficial in relating, using our mind, speech, in the most beneficial way, our body. I mean, that's our body here, that what we can see is really what we use to experience also open intelligence. We want to take care of our body. It's very natural. We want to be of benefit to all. That includes also our physical body. It includes everything. Everyone and everything. So of course we take naturally care of our body. We're not saying, oh, we don't have a body or we don't need to take care now. Not at all. We take care very naturally, but we are not fixed on it anymore fixed on it, oh, I need to have the perfect body, I need to be thin, I need to be sportive to be, in order to be, have well-being. That completely changed for me, completely. The, all the urge of needing to have 
a perfect body in, in order to look good or that other people are attracted to me or all these data are just subtly released. It's, it's amazing. All these things, it, they don't mean anything anymore. There's not ne no need anymore to... That motivation just drops away. And I just love to do exercise now much more than I used to do because I, the, the needing to do it falls away. It's just natural to just take care eat healthy food and just wanting to to benefit my body as well so there's no extreme to be taken in any way that's really great everything becomes just so natural and relating becomes so natural with myself and with other people it's just very incredible how how everything just becomes relaxed basically we become relaxed in every moment completely comfortable and relaxed who doesn't want to be relaxed relaxed and potent at the same time. Wow, that's incredible. And that is guaranteed when we test it out, the Four Mainstays. I've seen it directly in my own direct experience, how that just came about more and more. Just by allowing myself to test it out. And that's the invitation I received when I first came here, to test it out in my own direct experience. And we immediately see the benefits in letting data be as it is, not following after all our data, all our stories, getting all tensed up about things, just completely at ease at all times. And of course, things come up, but it doesn't matter because we, we remain completely stable in the face, in the midst of anything that arises. And we all have that capacity. It's not just for some people or... No, everybody has the capacity to be completely stable, completely at ease at all times everyone but we can take everyone has to take the responsibility for themselves you know, to commit to wanting to be stable commit to wanting to be well at all times that's what we're committing to and, and the Four Mainstays gives us, gives us all the tools we need to do that to live a life of complete benefit and power we're all so powerful and in that we also see more and more how we can support um, each other, support people in, in any way. And, and everything is included there also. You know, it's not like we let everybody be as it is and when data comes up. And of course there's also professional support that we can support there if that is needed. But what I find especially with um, suicidal thoughts, and I, I've, I've also had suicidal thoughts, it's so good to normalize that, that this comes up for probably most everyone at one point in our lives, suicidal thoughts, and to really normalize them and, and the importance of letting them be as they are when we experience them in our own direct experience, not to act on it. And when we see that we, can, we uh, have to act on it then to get professional support there, and support that also in your fa family. It, it's really um, powerful to... Then, then I also really see how powerful this training is and how important it is for everyone to know about that, that there's another choice in how we can deal with all the data that comes up for us in that teenage years. So precious. I wish I would have known in that time about open intelligence, to let all these data, the confusion and anger and self-hatred and suicidal thoughts, just that I knew that I could allow them to be as they are, that nothing is wrong with me ultimately. I thought something is wrong with me and I need to change and everything. And now to really know, and, and I'm so excited for humanity that we now are introduced to that, that we can support our children, our teenager, our family, our sisters, brothers in, in that, that there is another choice how we can deal with all the data that comes up that seems sometimes so afflictive. It's really needed in our society and it's, it's, that's why my motivation to share my experience in relying on open intelligence just never stop and will never stop. I, I, I just know it's just the, my heart wish for everyone to know this, that they can live a happy and easeful life at all times.